In this video, we're gonna go over the details about how to get the welder set up, and we're gonna do some practice welds. This will be my first time working with a welder, so it should be a really interesting experience for, for me and other people who are new to this kind of thing and have never done it before. I have literally zero experience doing any sort of welding. I've never seen welding except for, you know, on YouTube and whatnot. Don't have anybody in my family that's ever done it. We called around to try to find one to borrow from, from somebody. Nobody had one, so we had to end up buying this one. Um, but hopefully it'll work out well. And if you're intimidated by working with metal, like I was slash am, I'm getting a little more psychologically comfortable. Now we'll get, try to get some experience behind that. But first we gotta set up our welder and get the wire fed in. little device in here is the roller. When you're welding um, flux core, you need to have these grooved things to feed the, the wire through. It's not like a smooth, it's got it's be like beveling. If this were MIG, you'd be, it would be a smooth. Now the, the, the thickness of the wire, it's either 030 or 035. And depending on which one you're using, you know, changes uh, which you know wire you're using changes the orientation of how you need to have this. So it looks like we need to have the the one that we're using, which in this case we're using the stuff that came with it, which is 030. I'll get that in there, face up, and get that on there too. So now we're gonna get this wire undone. I don't want it to unravel, so I'm trying to be careful to hold on to it. I'll spin that a bit. And I'm going to cut this so that it's a nice smooth wire at the tip. So now I want to get this into the wire guide, which is here. So now the wires come out. It's over here now. So I wanted to get this the rest of the way into that into that hole there. So it's tightened up. I gotta get this sealed back up. So this goes, let's make sure that's in the groove. It doesn't want to stay in the groove. Stay there. There we go. And I'm gonna get this locked over. Oopsie. Just pop it right off. Tighten down so this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's in there, ready to go. All right, so the next thing we want to take care of is this uh, this welding gun. We want to get this unscrewed so that we can freely feed the wire through. I should say it's 030, so 03, it's an 03 tip. These ones that we got at the store are 035, and this is what we're going to be using for the actual body of the the trailer. And we want, there's a cold feed button on the back here that we're going to press and it's going to push the wire through. So you can see the wire came out, it's sticking out a few inches, that's what we want. Okay now with the unit off and unplugged, so there's definitely no, there's no danger, it's not going to you know, shock me or anything. Um, I want to get these pieces back on. Okay, that's all set. Now I just want to cut this so it's sticking out about a half inch. That's a half inch about the same size as the tip of the um, little metal thing sticking out. Okay, 
Now, when we have our, our trailer, it's going to be, you know, sitting like this. So this will be, if this is right side up, it'll, this side comes up like it does here. There'll be another piece um, that comes along this way, kind of like, like this. And these two are going to be cut like at 45 degree angles so that they actually match up properly and don't have to overlap. And then the, you know, the bar will continue on. So that's, um, that's one uh, joint that we want to practice. Um, not as is, but we want to be able to cut those 45s and practice putting them up against each other and welding that, that angle. And the other type of joint we want to practice is on the bottom, there will be, basically the bars will be going like this and then you know coming across to the other piece that way. So we want to practice that as well and obviously we're going to just flip that upside down and we'll place it against the edge of the workbench um, or a piece of wood I should say in order to try that. So I think I'm going to try that, that second weld first um, and I'm going to try it on just a piece of wood on the concrete. I don't want to do it on my workbench right now because I don't know how much heat to expect that's going to get transmitted through to the wood if the wood's going to burn a little bit or whatnot. And I don't want to mess up my workbench, even though it's not the most beautiful thing in the world. Um, you know, it's not terrible and I, I do very much like it. This particular welder runs off of 110 volt input with uh, 20 amps. So I have it on a plug which has a, a GFI circuit on it. That um, plug is wired into a 20 amp breaker in the house. And they say you're not supposed to use an extension cord, but I need to use an extension cord. Um, the cord I'm using though is um, it's 12 AWG, which is that's the wire that's rated for 20 amp. Normal extension cord is only rated for 15 amp. It's raining outside right now, so we're definitely not gonna be doing the welding outside because the whole welding process is all about high amounts of electricity. <clears throat> And I don't want to go anywhere near water. So we're going to open the garage doors. We're going to get the door, uh, the, the people door open. And get our protective gear on, get our masks on, and all that. And one thing I forgot we needed to do is get this metal a little bit clean. Now normally, um, since we're just practicing welding, we probably wouldn't do this. But uh, since I'm new to metalworking in general, I just want to practice with all the uh, the various tools and make sure that I'm using them properly so I'm using it on the real stuff, it gets done right. So just the cheap old little bit that came with the dremel seems to work. Yeah, so we got the ones that clean. Alrighty, so first time welding. Let's see how we did here. That was definitely a different experience than I uh, than I imagined. You couldn't feel the tip touching anything at all. You were just kind of. It felt like your hand was just floating. You know, not hitting anything, but you could see the sparks. You could hear it. I definitely went way, way, way too fast when I first did it. In fact, I think even the second time I did it, I probably went too fast. I think that's that's kind of what you got to do is just really relax, calm down, get your hand moving slow and steady, and um, definitely when I slowed down for the second weld, it felt like it, it, it just looked a lot better. It felt better. So in order to uh, to see how this is, we need to use this thing called a chipping hammer because it's a flux weld. So we got to hit this to get the slag off, and then we'll see. Um, you know how how it looks. Alrighty, well I definitely say 
that that is not a beautiful, a beautiful weld. Let me get it in there. So you can see it's it's lumpy. Um, I don't know if we really got any good penetration. Oh, there was definitely a burn underneath, so I'm glad I didn't do it on my workbench. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to try to do is maybe hit this off with a hammer, if I can, and then uh, give it another go. But that's, oof, even with my bad, bad weld, it's, you can't like pull that apart. Okay, so now we can kind of see what exactly occurred when I did the weld. So you can see there's, I don't know if that's, yeah, I guess there's a little, there's a little bit underneath the lip. If I put this up against that, you can kind of see where everything was. So you can see this kind of dipping down there. But I'm going to try to clean this up and then do a second weld, see if I can do better this time. I might also try turning the darkness down a bit on my, um, whatever you call this thing, shield. Uh, it has an adjustable dial on the side here. So the, the minimum that you're supposed to use is 10. I have it on 12, it says to start at that. So I might bring it down to maybe 11 and a half or 11 and see if I can see a little bit better because I could see the spark pretty well, but I couldn't really see where I was going, which I mean, that might just be normal anyway but yeah let's i'm gonna get that cleaned up and then give it a second go and see how that goes and it's getting a little bit late as you can see by the darkness outside so i might uh i might call it a night soon after that all right so we got this pretty well cleaned up it's not perfect but it's not it's not bad same thing with this area here this is pretty pretty smooth little jagged but not not terrible definitely felt better on that one. My tacks didn't do so well. I actually forgot about the whole packing thing on the first. Oh, that's hot. But anyway, let's see how this looks after I chip it off. So that looks a lot better. A whole lot better. That could easily be cleaned with the grinder thing. But that looks like, I mean, it might be a little bit too much because it's kind of bubbled up. Either way, I'm much happier with that. So we get some more practices in and we'll probably be able to get that down even even better. But that's, you can see it's it's fully connecting from, you know, the bottom to the to the bar. Like that's that's sealed on there. Much better. So now what we want to do is we're going to do the back. So I'm going to try going straight across and we'll see if we can get a good weld. So for my, what was that, third weld ever, so the third one on the back, second one on the front, I'd say that went pretty well. I'm very pleased with that. I'm going to probably, um, well I mean I'm, I'm definitely going to give this a few more practice goes tomorrow morning and uh, I'll need to cut some more 
some more pieces off to kind of, you know, try different things. I got to really drill it to my mind, you know, keep that that half inch lead on the uh, on the wire, which I hadn't talked about before, but that's something you're supposed to do. Um, making sure the, the angle of the gun is right. I think I'm, my motion has gotten more relaxed and calm, certainly, especially after after that last one. I don't really know why there's that one pit on the back of the last one. I'll have to see if that's an issue. So I'll have to look that up and see if that's a, I mean, I'm sure that's not, it's not ideal. I'll have to see what causes that and try to correct it for my next attempts. But that's, I think I'm, I'm I feel like I'm, I'm improving. <laughs> so I'm happy. All right, so I'm gonna go review some videos and I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning when I give this another shot and hopefully we'll have some some welds that are even nicer than this. We'll see. Well, good morning. Well, actually, afternoon by the time I finally get out here into the garage. I do have the, the quote is, is now accepted, so I'm hopefully gonna be getting the steel on Wednesday, which is uh, today's Saturday, so a few days from now. So that means I need to get ready to start doing the real welds because we're gonna be doing this within the week. I feel like I'm pretty close to being able to do the work on the full trailer. I'm gonna try taking a few whacks with the sledgehammer at that weld that I did last night. Even though it's not a full weld going all the way around, I wanna see if there's any movement, any cracking or anything when I hit it. Um, I'm not expecting there to be. So then I'll just I'll just keep working on improving my technique and uh, that way when the when the metal gets here, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to get things clamped up and start building this thing. So let's get at it. So this is what we want to see. We hit it with a sledgehammer a bunch of times, and the metal, the steel is belt is bending. The weld is holding. I don't see any cracks there or anything. I am very happy with that. I am very happy that it's it's holding enough that it's not going to uh, break. And we'll do another test to try to just get a cleaner weld. Because uh, although I'm I'm very pleased with the fact that this is holding, it could look prettier. So I'm going to work on that. It won't always be this way mm, You will get there someday Babe, feel the sun on your face Visit Paris or Broadway Then chill out on Sunday Well, I would say that that is pretty good for attempt number four. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this, and uh, hopefully, you know, if you've never done any welding before, this was somewhat helpful to kind of make your mind at ease with it a bit. Again, I have absolutely zero experience, and you know, I feel like I'm, I'm picking it up pretty fast using the tips that I found on the, uh, the videos that I'm going to link down in the description below. Um, you know, go look at those, go look at others that maybe I haven't linked in there, and uh, yeah, just uh, give this a shot. It's, it's not terrifying make sure you pay attention to the safety stuff because there is a lot of voltage going on here you don't want to get uh, injured so I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed watching this I'll see you on the next video and we're gonna continue with starting to get together the frame and I'm super excited so I'll see you then Bye. -bye.